guys. I'm going to make this one short and sweet and to the point again. Trust Horror 18 is very good, but not great. It starts with an opening segment of Marge trying to get the show started, but all these other random shows get in the way, so she kills all the little icons and stuff that get in the way she's trying to explain. And then she serves them to her family in, in bread, which leads to the title card. Nice, gruesome opening. Then we get to the first segment, which is E.T. Go Home. And of course, it's obviously a parody of E.T., where Bart finds, I believe it's Kodos. Yeah, I believe, I believe it's Kodos. He finds Kodos in his shed and decides to try and get him to where he needs to go. And then the military tries to hunt them down, and Kodos, unlike E.T., doesn't just fly over the cops. No, he vaporizes them by popping off their heads, and then they turn into goo. And then Kodos reveals that he's not there in peace, and he's there to start an invasion, a lot like the day the Earth looked stupid. But unlike that one, the military shows up quite quick, uh, quickly and kills them all. Except for Kodos, who is killed by Homer by being suffocated with a pillow. Pretty simple segment, but it's pretty enjoyable. Then we get to Mr. and Mrs. Simpson, obviously a parody of the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith, where Homer and Marge find out they're agents, or hired killers, whichever, and they go at each other shooting the absolute shit out of the house and anyone else that gets in their way, including poor old grandpa and a bunch of other people at a event. And then it ends with them um, killing Skinner. It's a fine segment, it's not really scary, but there is one very morbid moment when Homer accidentally shoots this bartender and the blood pours out of his forehead into a whole tower of these wine glasses. That's morbid. That is it. That is up there with one of the most simple but brutal deaths in this trios of horror thus far. And then we get to the final segment, which is called... Give me just a minute. I'm sorry, I, f I forget what it's called. I forget what they called it. Heck House. That's it. Heck House. So in Heck House, Bart, Millhouse, Lisa, and Nelson are all trick-or-treating, and then they decide to pull tricks on the whole town, whether it's turn Chief Wiggum into a toilet paper mummy, or toilet paper people's houses, or in one of the more serious cases of trickery, that goes too far. The they cause an accident that kills a driver and blows up a whole building. That's standard for Bart, so it's not really that surprising. But Lisa's forced to go along with this. So Ned Flanders tries to scare the daylights out of them and teach them about sin. And the first attempt doesn't work. But then he asks for God to give him powers, he turns into a devil, like a literal devil. And then he takes them to literal hell and shows them all the seven deadly sins, which also a mountain chaos. Especially one very gruesome one, where Homer is sliced to pieces by his hammock. It's simple, but again, it's, it's, it's gruesome. It is a gruesome death. And it's made to show gluttony. That makes it even a bit, that makes it a little more disturbing. And then they see all these crazy, just all this kind of crazy stuff in hell. And then they all promise to 
not do that anymore, so Ned sends them back up, turns back to human Ned, and then thanks us all for watching, and then blatantly says we're all going to hell for watching. The ending is, I mean, the final segment's very good, but the ending is a bit of a farce. So that final verdict drops it to a 7 out of 10 for a final verdict overall. It is a very good Treehouse of Horror. Can't say it's great. It's not up there with 10 and 15. Nowhere close. But hopefully, the quality just keeps going up and up and up because tomorrow we got 19. And then the day after that, we got 20. Hopefully the 20th is just as good as the 10th. So until then, thanks for watching. I'm Jack Small of Enemy Station, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.